Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Quick update on the fig cuttings, uh, but before that, I have another UC Davis Black Madeira here that I can put in a cup. Um, has roots on it, but I don't want to get too much longer. You can see there. And then, if it's in the bin too long, with all this um, these leaves sprouting out on this, I already have a leaf that has uh, fallen off because they'll start to rot because of the high humidity. But uh, because it has the roots, it's it's uh, time to get this in a cup anyways. So again, today's April 19th, and uh, these are left over from last year, last fall. So I want to get this into a cup. Bark here with perlite mix. Trying to fill that up without knocking any of those roots off. Making a mess. Really windy today. Knocking over my citrus I put outside. Yeah, so we'll take a look at the figs I already have in the bin with some roots showing. But to uh, get this watered in and get this in the bin. So I should probably put the trap in the sink there so I don't end up with plumbing problems. That's that. So let's go take a look at the cuttings that have been in the in the bin for I don't know, is it on a on a, a month now or at least two weeks, two, three weeks? Okay, so here's the bin, and here's the cutting that I just put in the cup. Um, I had just redampened the towel, sprayed some of these cups along the inside edge to re-moisten them. Really windy again today. It's 70 degrees. It's really windy and humid. Um, Let's take a look at some of the progress, if any, on some of the, uh, this one here, I've seen a root on. This is Aishia Black. This is a very thin cutting. Uh, I believe I broke this off while bringing in the fig tree tr through the doorway. And I did see a root. It's hard to distinguish between, you have to really look between the perlite and a root. If you can see that right there. There's a root right here, and that's it. I don't see anything else, but it does have some green coming up on the top there, so that looks okay. Another one that I have that has roots, but has a big problem with mold on the terminal bud here. Um, this is a UC Davis Black Madeira. I tried to gingerly brush. I kind of regret it. I should have just let, uh, you know, whatever was happening here just happen because if you can imagine how fragile the connection is between these roots and the cutting itself, I tried to make sure, well, I tried to look to see if after I cleaned it, it's been a couple of days now whether these roots started shriveling up, so Hopefully, you know, there's still something attached, but there's roots here. There's a big root right here. You can see that. And yeah, so it's doing, has good progress below the soil, but above the soil, it's not looking too good. So maybe it'll sprout something up um, if it survives. From the soil line, I've seen that happen. Um, that's about it. I think those are the two that uh, are showing any roots so far. 
And let's see, okay, so 328 is when these, I put these in the cups. So this is showing no roots, which is disappointing, but it still looks pretty good. And maybe that thermal bud there will open up soon. Yeah, so that's a quick update. One additional uh, black Madeira in the bin. And the relatively thicker Encanto Farms black Madeira is showing nothing. You know, so um, best thickness is about pencil size for these cuttings. Um, but, you know, I've seen really thick cuttings that I've planted horizontally uh, in a bin and covered with soil. I actually still have it. It's alive in, in the lean-to. Um, have sprouted up and I've completely left the full horizontal length of the cutting uh, like above the soil. Sort of pressed it into the soil so it's just sitting horizontally. Uh, I've had them sprout. Yeah, so this is the one I was talking about. It's about an inch diameter. Um, Piece that I had here. I think this is the Kalamata. Couldn't get myself to throw it out. It has this unique um, texture to the bark, um, although it's not showing it right now, unless uh, I'm mistaken what this cutting was left over from. But that might be a good thing because the Kalamata was supposed to have come from that, um, what is it called, called Bella Claire Nursery, something like in New York. It was some legendary. Uh, fig nursery that eventually, you know, the owners got too old to uh, keep the nursery going and everything was eventually um, closed, or the nursery was closed. Uh, that's my recollection. But yeah, this was, uh, this Kalamata um, needed poll a pollinator. It, would, it was loaded with figs. It was the most... Uh, figs I've ever seen on a fig tree but they would just drop off so I couldn't get myself to get rid of this cutting so I just laid it down in here uh, horizontally in fact I can't this is dead but this this cutting here but I can't get it out until I cut it from the bottom because the roots have grown into the cup uh, so this one here is attached in this empty pot roots have gone up into the pot so I need to um, transplant this this fig here but yeah that's a really thick cutting that uh, I uh, just laid horizontally in this uh, shoebox. So you can see here, I, I just have a little gap. That's how I sort of regulate the humidity in here. Get some airflow, not completely stagnant air in there. And um, yeah, hopefully slowly make some progress going into uh, May. So this is New England Gardening. Thanks for watching.